Oh, I went over to Reading Benchmark uh, for the Common Core. So I know the kids knew that they were expected to read and follow. Uh, I didn't really go over the fact that uh, cell theory or the parts of cell, but that is uh, one of my goals that I didn't really communicate, but I think it was self-evident as far as what they're looking for, what they should be looking for. So I think uh, something that went well is that uh, I didn't make the students do their own reading and following. I told them, I made a, I modeled what kind of clarifying questions I would expect them to do, not just uh, ask me what to do next. Uh, I modeled what uh, kind of question they should ask so that I could tell that they read and just wanted to clarify it with something. Um, I did monitor, give immediate feedback for those who were um, doing the lesson wrong, I guess. Not necessarily wrong, but just didn't understand what was meant when they were uh, supposed to, like, for example, breaking the onion and getting the, the membrane. Uh, I then modeled that so I because I saw that several of them were doing it. I was talking to several of them, so I decided to talk to the whole class about that. Um, the grouping, I guess, from before, you know, I didn't really make it in class. It's already they're already grouped. They're already grouped so that uh, there's at least one student in every class, uh, every group. Sorry, that is uh, the, the leader, I guess, the one that uh, tends to be the quote unquote smart one or the one that is self-directed enough to read, know what's going on, able to answer some questions and if not assertive enough to say, okay, we're gonna have to ask Mr. Pai. Yeah. Not uh make sure every group has at least one. Yeah. So beforehand I had to set up all the groups and uh, I did have to set up so that um, not all the resource students were in one group. I try to you know, mix them up. Every group has a mixed group. Uh, every group also has a job for each person so that they know we're not all spending every, you know, everybody wait for everybody to grab a glove. Everybody, they all know someone's supposed to grab the gloves for everybody. One's supposed to grab the glove, uh, goggles. Um, I had to prep all the materials so you know, make sure the material, uh, microscopes are out. I still find some broken every so often but that's just how it is. Um, Prepping the materials, so like, uh, let's see, make the copies. Uh, this time I actually revised the lab instructions. Some of, every year I find something that I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Just change it. Um, let's see, I do put the chemicals inside the choppers, find all the supplies. Uh, let's see, anything else? As far as organization, jobs. I think I got most of those things. Uh, procedures, they've already established that they have to do a question day when they come in. Usually it's a, something that they learned last time or previously so that they know what to expect. They have um, that expectation when they come in. They know they have to fill in their planner before they come into the class because the homework board is outside. And then they know that they shove it out when I come around the stamp. So you don't have to spend time doing that. And cleanup is still a work in progress. <laughs> You know, they have to learn, say, three minutes, you know, they have to monitor themselves, make sure the time's, oh, got to, we don't have time to do the next thing, we should start cleaning up. And then I'm going to come around and spray, because, you know, we have stuff on the table, don't want the next person to come in with stuff on it. They have to realize, I got to put away all my stuff, get it ready for the spray. <laughs> well, it's uh, easy to see the engagement for students when they, uh, you know, this is the first time I'm going to go you know, they're like, Mr. Why don't I look good? It's like, really? Do we really need to go over how well you look in goggles? But it's, it's great that they actually get a chance to see, ooh, science-y stuff. Um, they love to use the microscope. They, hopefully more will get to the cheek cells. Some of them did get to, so they were like, very hesitant about going, but yeah, they, they love using their own body and putting it on the slide. So that's a good engagement for them. As far as meaningful, hopefully they can see that it's, you know, them made of cells. So that, you know, learning about themselves basically and how life is. Um, the plants that they eat, the onion, they eat that. Um, relevance is 
wasn't my goal, but I guess there's a certain you know things that they'll see that they um, are part of them. Um, they see over and over again in their lives. Uh, yeah, I guess just seeing that living things like them are made up of cells, and that uh, I guess the other relevant thing is to learn that they have to work with each other, no matter what kind of situation they're in. There's going to be a work situation where they have to work with the other person. It's not always their favorite person, but they got to realize that everybody has something to contribute, so you got to put them away to their feelings and do it, right? My room setup would be nice if I could have it uh, set up so that it could circulate easier. And this dead end right here is not exactly the greatest for me, but I do it. Um, I have the digital microscope on there. I don't always get around to using it, but I do like to use it to show the kids, well, that's what you should be looking at. Um, usually too busy doing the feedback, but somehow incorporating the, what they see, because uh, it did help some of them when I said, yeah, you see what you've, you're seeing here, but it's actually overlapped. They're like, oh, yeah, that's right. It is what I'm seeing. Uh, that'd be nice to see. Maybe even, oh, and I think I should put the the benchmark, the reading benchmark on their table somehow so they know that there's more on you on top of the lab procedure. That'd be good too. That way they know that they have to, that's what they're expected to do. Yeah.